One of the biggest goals for traders is to go full-time. Um, and they wanna be full-time traders, they wanna have that title, um, they wanna get away from their job um, and be trading full-time. And I get the attraction to it. I mean, in, in this ideal world, you're, you're working a couple hours a day, you gotta do what you love, you maybe get to focus on other businesses, you don't have to work for another boss, um, you've got an independent paycheck, you can do it from anywhere in the world. Um, so I really get the attraction to full-time trading, um, but I think traders approach it at times in the wrong way. And I talk about this quite in detail in my in my 12-week challenge, and I've worked with a lot of traders helping them go full-time successfully. I've done it myself in my journey. Um, and I really think that going full-time, um, being able to trade for yourself, um, and then dedicating that additional time to working on additional businesses or additional um, things you are inspired to do and you absolutely love doing, I think is such a great idea. Um, and it really gives you permission to level up. Um, but in this particular video, I wanted to share um, some ideas, some tips and tricks, some hacks, uh, more from a psychological perspective to ensure that going full-time is successful and you don't have some of the common challenges that traders who go full-time have. Now, if it's the first time checking into the channel, first and foremost, welcome. My name is Pat Bay Looney, and I work with traders all around the world, helping them overcome their psychological challenges and achieve funding goals. And we have our free Bulletproof Your Mindset tool in the description. There's a few links in the description to check out. Check out the Bulletproof Your Mindset tool, the 12 week challenge, um, and also some links to recommended prop firms as well. Now, when we talk about going full time with your trading, the first little dynamic I wanna unpack here is more of a, a psychological perspective. Um, a lot of traders have this type of language where they're, they're hating their nine to five job and they're trying to escape their nine to five job and they're uninspired, they don't like their work. And I understand that, um, but at times what can happen is they think in their mind, they create this fantasy of what full time trading looks like and it's all you know, positive and it's all bliss and it's, it's easy and I don't have to deal with bosses and I don't have to um, be stuck in traffic, I don't have to work nine to five. And what they do is they paint this fantastical picture of what full-time trading is and they put it up on a pedestal. And what happens here in their mind because they're comparing now their reality, their full-time work to full-time trading which is all positive, no negative, and as a result, they despise their job. Because whenever we compare something to a fantasy, we can't appreciate the thing we're comparing to the fantasy because nothing lives up to a one-sided or positive fantasy. We're aware of both sides of our job, but we're, and sometimes we're a little bit skewed to the negative side because we're biased, and we're comparing that to an all positive fantasy of full-time trading. And I see this particular dynamic very commonly in traders where they're now resentful to their job because they think they can have a better full-time trading. And usually what happens in that particular situation is they escape or they leave their job and they're unprepared for the reality of full-time trading because the reality of full-time trading has both advantage and disadvantage and there are challenges to full-time trading. Um, and usually those who try and escape the challenges in their nine to five job, those challenges just reappear in different forms when they go nine to five, when they go full-time trading, okay? So that's the re really the first thing I wanna unpack. They become pairs of opposites in their mind and you wanna be aware of this, you wanna make sure that you're not comparing your nine to five job to an unrealistic fantasy of what full-time trading is, because I guarantee you a lot of traders are. And the easiest way to do this is just to go in there and ask yourself, what are the benefits of my nine to five job? The secure paycheck, um, you know, that's a huge benefit of a nine to five job. Another benefit of the nine to five job, it teaches you to be effective and efficient with your trading. You're not stuck at the charts all day. You become efficient, effective. You do your forecasts and then you go out and you get, you get to work. You get to do other things that day. You're inspired sometimes by your work. Um, and oftentimes your results are better when you're busy as opposed to having full-time trading, which leaves you a lot of time to make silly mistakes, do things you wouldn't usually do. Another benefit of working full-time um, is that you get paid to learn to trade. So you have a secure income in there. You can dedicate this time to learning to trade, investing in your education, mentorship, one-on-one um, -on -one stuff, mindset stuff. It gives you permission to learn and develop that groundwork, which is essential. And then going in there and finding the drawbacks, you find the benefits of your nine to five job, find the drawbacks of full-time trading. For example, you don't have a, a full-time income. You don't have a secure income. You're now dependent 
on your trading on the market, which is at times uncertain to create an income. That can be stressful. Uh, you have all this time, what are you gonna do with your time? A lot of full-time traders are bored. So what doing this exercise does, finding the benefits of your nine to five work, finding the drawbacks of full-time trading is it gives you a more balanced perspective on the reality of your current situation and also the, the goal you have of going full-time. And this isn't to discourage you from going full-time, it's just about making sure you're prepared for the reality of what full-time trading is, it has both advantage and disadvantage, and your current job has both advantage and disadvantage, okay? But I also understand that traders just wanna go full-time. So what I suggest in the meantime is linking your nine to five job to your trading and asking, how is me working this nine to five job right now? How is that a benefit to my trading? Say for example, you wanna you want to work your nine to five job for the next six months to a year, because you know deep in your heart you wanna go full-time with your trading, which is great. You wanna ask yourself, now that I'm working the nine to five job, I'm working it, I may as well appreciate it, be grateful for it while I'm in it, how is me working this job for the next six months to a year actually serve and benefit my overall goal of being a full-time trader? And go in there and list the benefits and make that link in your mind so that the nine to five job isn't something in the way, but it becomes something on the way of your actual goal. Um, and I guarantee if you use the nine to five job as a way to have that security, to build up a cash cushion, at least a six month cash cushion, to use that as security to pay for your education as a trader, to use this time as you know research and, and development of your trading strategy so you can build certainty in your strategy, you can build certainty in yourself of being able to create an income from trading. Um, if you shift your perspective to your nine to five job, it becomes something that you're grateful for now because it's actually helping you achieve your overall goal of being a full-time trader. So those would be two things I'd recommend from a psychological perspective straight off the bat to do. To rebalance your perception to your nine to five and to your full-time uh, full trading, so that they're more balanced and you're more objective. And then in the meantime, while you're still working a nine to five job, link how is me working this nine to five job actually helping me become a full-time trader and make that connection clear in your mind. The third thing I'd be doing is using the, the opportunity of having that full-time income to build a cash cushion. Without a doubt, having a cash cushion when you go full-time as a trader is such a good idea because it takes the pressure off your trading to have to perform and have to get results in your trading and you have cash in the bank if you need it to cover bills and that type of stuff. Because the last thing you want is to go full time and then have all this pressure on yourself to have to make income to pay bills and then what that does is it pushes you into outcome based thinking away from your processes, away from your trading plan, etc. So I would be focusing on those three things if you have a goal of becoming full time. First and foremost, uh, rebalance your perception to nine to five by finding the benefits and rebalance your perception to going full time by finding the drawbacks. Now, when you uncover those drawbacks, it's gonna give you a greater idea of what, what you're getting yourself into. So if you find one of the big drawbacks of going full time is that you're now reliant on your income and you have to create your own income, nobody's gonna pay you. And that's something that is a big challenge and maybe something pretty scary for you, something you may be fearful of. You don't wanna ask yourself how can I mitigate that particular risk? How can I plan contingencies for that particular risk? One of the best things you can do is have a cash cushion. I guarantee you having a six month, maybe 12 month expenses covered in cash in the bank before you go full time is one of the, the wisest things you can do going full time. And then that just gives you permission to, to focus on your processes, to leverage your skill with prop firms, to scale up, um, all that type of stuff. And that's what I've seen with, with clients, those who go full time, they're most successful when they do that. They, they treat it as a process, they have cash in the bank as security, they leverage prop firms to scale their skills as a trader, and then when they're full-time, they now dedicate themselves to de developing other things like other businesses or other projects they're inspired by, um, other investment opportunities, etc. cetera, um, because that's ultimately why they got in, in trading for the first place. So they could leverage away from a nine to five job and they could develop skills that they love to build businesses, to help other people, um, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so hopefully this was useful and insightful. If you are going full time, treat it strategically. Do it. Do it smart. Don't rush into it um, because um, there, there are risks. There are challenges of being full time. You want to be aware of what those are in, in hindsight and plan for them and be prepared for them. Um, but yeah, check out the li the links in the description. Twelve week challenge, bulletproof your mindset tool. We talk about this in detail in the twelve week challenge. Um, and I give you all the tools to be able to, 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 be able to deal with this. Um, so I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.